I think I'm gonna do like a woodland scene now. Right, sap green, a very rich green. There we go. Actually, we're probably gonna do the whole canvas in this sap green. There we go, that's proper on there. Right, I'm gonna go with some phalo blue. And let's go somewhere, I don't know, around here. This is blue going on top of that green, okay? Get the rest of that phalo blue on there. That'd be like a bluey sort of greenish sort of colour. I'm just going to make some kind of line across here. Something like that. Just some pure titanium white. Let's just go, let's just pull some colour in here. Just some different patterns going on here. Let's have a bright spot around here. Somewhere there. Just any sort of thing here, just doing this in streaks. The reason why I'm doing this in streaks, you'll find out in a bit, but hopefully you might sort of figure that out. Just to put in this white everywhere. Just want this to be back, like a back sort of drop, okay? Already you can see touching into that blue, that color there. got a load of brown, some black. We can incorporate all these different colors in. So let's just go for it. I'm gonna take a bit of each first and some of this sap green, make a little pile over here and also some white and dull that down a little bit. It's almost like a gray. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I wanna thin down some of this color I've made, look here. Just thin down quite a lot of thinner. And I'm just gonna lay in some distant, distant, distant sort of tree things, okay? So this is just some ones here and there. Please make sure you get over to the website and come and uh, support me with a painting. You can buy a painting or print if you like. Use this 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 dark color. We've got the black and the and the brown here. Make a little bit of green in there too. Let's make it right on top of this blue patch. Just darken this up a little bit. What a nice sort of color. You can go something like that. Okay. Um, let's go some here. Just keeping some of that light. Do some little ones in the background that don't have to go all the way. Let's do another one here. Just picking out them places, you know. A bit thicker at the top there. Bring that down. And let's use a curvy one. We'll leave him like that. I like that. And let's go into this colour. We're going to thin this colour down. Same colour. That one feels natural for a, a little branch to come out there. Make sure you've got most of the sides there. Let's go with some, um, just a little bit of this grey here. Bring this in. This is just thick, thick paint. Just gonna make sort of a marbly effect here. And I'm just gonna tap on some of these trees. I've been watching your YouTube videos really good, thank you. Gonna have a little bit there. Now it's time for a bit of land. I'm gonna get some yellow out, some yellow ochre. I think I might make some green out of some blue. Kind of what kind of green is this going to give us? To do things with the ratios and stuff like that. I've just pulled some yellow ochre into that. I'm going to have some water in this as well, so I don't know if to do the water first. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just going to pull down here. Might change this, but I'm just going to pull down here. Let's go something like this. Just pull this colour down here. I'm gonna go across, okay? I'm gonna change the way that comes in there, over there, I think. How about just here? It comes along there and then this water just comes along here. There we go, 
go. The more, you, the more you do that, the more it loses the white. So you can add a little bit more white on if you want. Just, just blend that in. Have that fall over. And come back and just do this. Uh, we can go somewhere. We'll just do loads of water. You'll see some bluey sort of green here. I don't know, where does it go? Yeah, this, this I did one very, very similar, like I said, in my first, before my 100th painting, over a year ago, but it wasn't nowhere the same picture, all this is the same as the way I did the background with the green light, yeah. Yeah, we got some water down there, little splashes around here. Might have to come back and sort of sort that out. But this is where we can create the land now. Have this coming down here. All these mixtures of stuff. How are we going to have this land coming down here? this into a little bank here but just come down here with all this coming down and a little sort of hill there we go We've got some yellow going on Let's swap that around towards that way this little grassy thing is going on the edge of the brush basically Come back and put rocks in there if I wanted to. Look, let me go right up here. Because that will save a lot of trouble. That's going to make it a lot easier doing it like this. And I can bring the trees back down. And some of these trees forward. So this one can come down here. This one, should we leave them at the back there? This one, no one lives here. This changes everything. Some white going on. Just very carefully putting this on with the palette knife. Just little, some little things. somewhere here this is going to be the water we all like water we can't live without it it's going into this sort of brown again we've got a bit of land going through here that some more brown and just put some little highlights on and put some this out a little bit look at that and just put some a little bit of movement as down here just a little deer okay this is small We got a nice little deer in some woods, having a little stopping by for a nice little drink. There we go. Do head over to the website, guys, if you can. Uh, fifth, there's a 15% off coupon, which is TikTok15, okay? TikTok15, 15% off with free postage to the UK. So please go and have a little visit at the website. You might find something you like. 